After Effects tutorial, which is actually a translation of another tutorial in German on YouTube uh, made by HP Nautic. Um, I saw this uh, some days ago and I found it very useful. And under the video, there were many requests to translate it to English. So I'm just gonna try to translate it here. Um, this is what we're gonna be creating. This short intro, your name or whatever coming out of smoke. Looks really nice and it's not so much work. So this smoke is not rendered or particles or whatever. This is a real movie of real smoke, so you'll need to download it. I'll put the download link in the description. It was made by videocopilot.net and it's free, so you can download it and use it. So please download it and then we can start. So here I have a complete new and empty After Effects window. I'm using After Effects CS6, but you can also use it with CS5 or CS4. The interfaces don't uh, differ so much. Um, and you might notice that my interface is German. Um, that's no big problem. I'll try to translate all the effect names and so on on the fly. And if I don't, or if, uh, if I just can't translate it on the fly, you can see it. Um, normally the, the English interface is exactly the same, just the names differ. So just look where the specific option is located and you'll find it. Okay, so first thing we need to do, we need to import um, the smoke footage into our project. Uh, I have it right here, just open it in my footage folder for this project and take it and drag it into your project. So now we need to create a new composition. Uh, there are two ways of creating a composition, one the old fashioned way, click on composition, new composition and create it. But the more clever way in this case is just take your footage and drag it down to the new composition icon. This way After Effects creates a new composition with uh, all settings fitting to your uh, footage, uh, such as frame rate and video size, uh, just small benefit. Um, okay, we can preview this by pressing zero on the num block. This creates a RAM preview and shows us the final product. Okay, next step, we need our text. So we'll choose the text tool here and click into our composition and now type our text in. in my case, Fringsify my channel name. Okay. Um, if you try this, your text is surely white. And if you want to give it a more smoky gray color, just select the text and use this tool and click into the smoke. This will give the text exact the color you clicked in and you'll get uh, such, a, such a gray, normal gray. So now we'll choose this tool, um, shortcut V on the keyboard and just center the text, maybe scale it a bit up. You just have to see that it's smaller than the smoke, otherwise the animation will look bad. And on the timeline you can preview this. This might work maybe a bit higher and... Okay. There we go. This should work. Okay. Next step is we want to make the text appear when the smoke passes by. For this we need to create a mask with the uh, rectangle tool here. Just click it and then drag a mask. Look where the first letter starts and just start the mask right beneath it here. So you can't see any text. Then we'll go to the uh, mask settings, mask one here, and set a keyframe at mask path, I think is the translation. Um, click it and then go forward in the timeline until the 
smoke animation stops until the smoke starts to disappear and don't go any further. Um, I hate this message. Uh, next step, we will choose a text layer and then the select tool and drag the mask here to the end of the smoke animation. So it's animated and comes with with this with text. Okay, this looks good. To make it a bit more smooth, we will use this option. I think the English translation is feathering. Um, just just try and set it to maybe 60, 70 pixels. Just experiment with it. So a bit more to make the, the text appear smoothly. Okay, that looks fine. Next step, we want to make the, the text appearance look more, more natural, like it really comes out of the smoke. Um, for this, we'll first take our, our smoke video layer and drag it over the text layer and set the mode to negative multiply, multiply negative, whatever, just see. If you can't see uh, this, just press F4 once and you will see this window. Um, okay, next step we will create a new layer, layer new, and um, this option, I can translate it, settings layer, settings solid, preferences, whatever just choose it and create it and rename it. For this we'll select it and press enter um, and call it maybe blur. Okay. And this layer we'll drag between the smoke and the text layer. So it's over the text layer but below the smoke layer. And then we'll create a new mask. Make sure you've selected this and again with the rectangle and this time a bit smaller maybe this and over the smoke so then we'll go to the mask settings and again set a keyframe at mask path and then we'll select the layer again go to the select tool double click on the mask and then drag it. Oh, I forgot to go forward in time again to the end of the animation. And then, uh, now it isn't working anymore. Double click and then drag it over. Let's see if it works. It works. So now we don't see much, but what do we do? We animated two masks, but differently. Um, the first mask just gets bigger while the time goes on and reveals the text. The second mask continues to to go go further, and so we can apply something like blur or uh, something like that to it without harming the the whole finished text. So which effects do we apply? Uh, we'll select uh, this layer, go to effects, and then we'll go to this option. I can't translate it on the fly. Just look, um, maybe I'll post a video comment when I translated it and choose this option. And we'll go to um, effect this one, this one, and uh, let's see this. Just again, I post a video comment with the translation, or you just count which one it is. So, okay. So now here are the settings for these two applied effects. Now we'll Alt click on the stopwatch at evolution and enter 
time star 250 to animate this over time and then we'll adjust the strength of this blur to about maybe 15 to 16 let's see let's preview that just pressing 0 to render it and create run preview of this okay I see I forgot something um, there's an option at the masks um, here uh, I think feathering it's translated feathering and we'll adjust it to make it more smooth so we'll choose maybe 70 and now it should look far better yeah maybe a bit more it's not perfect and uh, you, you can play with the settings but um, that's all and if you just just some some of uh, these uh, settings you'll get uh, the exact same result so um, what uh, the last step is if you want it you can um, adjust the color make color correction for this um, we will create a new layer settings layer whatever um, rename it by pressing enter uh, say color correction and apply effects color correction curves um, go to red bring it slightly a bit up green also up and blue a bit down so we get this nice radioactive look um, and that's it there is our preview our intro um, okay last question which is often asked asked um, how do I render this it's really easy they are just two things you have to notice I'll do it for you just click on file export um, something with render list just click on it and you'll open here the, the render list um, there are some options this option is important um, this means lossless and if you export a file like this lossless you'll get maybe 1.5 gigabytes for this 10 seconds a huge amount of data um, so you have to click on it and choose a format for YouTube uh, H.264 is a good format so choose it click OK and here we can choose where we want to save it I just take this my After Effects projects folder and then click render and there we go it renders and saves it uh, at the given path okay that was my translation of the HP Nautic After Effects smoke intro tutorial hope you enjoyed it and it helped you um, thanks for watching bye